hope smart people on the left would agree with me. We don't want like a giant, incompetent, unaccountable government. That's just retarded. Yeah, in our government these days, like what is the big gap in the US? There's about 9 million workers paid for by DC. It's actually about 9 million. Now, 3, 3 million or so are paid directly as bureaucrats in DC. About 4.2 are paid for with contractors. And then another kind of 1.8, give or take, are paid for by the DC that exists at the state level. So it's 9 million workers. And it used to be to be government worker. Did you know what the Pendleton Act was? Have you heard about this? No. In 1883. So basically, governments tend to expand a lot in war, right? So in wars or crises. So Civil War, Abraham Lincoln created all sorts of new departments. If you track track it out, federal government all of a sudden starts growing a lot bigger. And it becomes this mess where everyone's just appointing their friends and they're getting their friends rich to get elected. And everyone on both sides, okay, this is like intolerable. We got to fix this. It's like a bunch of cronies who are unqualified just running around DC, throwing around money. And so in 1883, we passed the Pendleton Act and we say, listen, to get to be in charge of any of these things in government or even to like work there, you have to pass a test. And the test is harder to be in charge, but it's hard to work there too. And, and this test is like iterates over the years, but up until like the late 1970s, like there's these pretty hard tests and, and, and there's different exams. And, you know, actually it's funny that I, even in the 1970s, Americans are just like disgusted because after World War II, government also grew a lot bigger. Like, okay, we have to reform it again. It's a total mess. Tons of paperwork everywhere. Jimmy Carter actually gets the nomination because he in Georgia took hundreds of departments down to only 22. So even he has some track record of doing this. And unfortunately, because the government units have become so strong, they put poison pills into all his legislation and he really can't reform it in the late seventies. So even he was trying to reform it. And then, and then to make matters worse, the, the leftist activist courts in the late seventies, they say, you know what, these tests, these tests are letting more white people in than black people because more black people, people's scores are lower. So we're going to, we're going to get rid of them. These tests have quote unquote disparate impact. And so this is basically a, what we call proto DEI, you know, DEI today, you have a proto form of DEI starting about 45 years ago. And, the Reagan administration settles it, knowing they'll lose the courts in 81, and the tests are gone. So these tests we had for 98 years, like when we went to the moon, we were doing all these things. We used to have like somewhat competent people in the government. I'm not saying government's great, but at least it was smart people. Now it's they're hiring millions more people and none of them are passing tests. And this, by the way, is not against like the Hispanic and black people didn't do as well. This is also against the white people who couldn't pass the test. There's tons of white people working for government today that never would have been there, but we're not testing them anymore. And so, so, so you basically have this just viciously incompetent government that's getting worse and worse. And what do you do, Michael, if you're not accountable, by the way, you can't fire these people anymore either. That's the other thing I didn't say. You're not accountable. You're not competent. Well, you're going to spend all of your time virtue signaling because that's the only other thing you could do. You're not being held to any kind of account for like profit or anything. So of course they're just like woke as hell and, and, and it's a total mess. And, and so, so that's, so, I mean, I don't know exactly what like principles that is. I guess that's on the right, but I, I hope smart people on the left would agree with me. Like we, we don't want like a giant, incompetent, unaccountable government. That's just, that's just, that's just retarded. I have a lot of sympathy for that perspective. We'll get into a second. David Fisher, the former uh, chief revenue officer at, at Facebook and at, and at Google, uh, told my daughter over Shabbat dinner uh, when, when he, she asked him for some advice. He said, just be competent. 98% of the people aren't. Um, especially when they don't have to be, right? It's like, exactly. it's like, it's like it's terrible. I'll challenge kind of a, a notion that I think you referred to um, or, or maybe amplify it. I've been making the argument in Israel because, you know, we have the same people who are uh, soldiers and reserves and there are the same people kind of contributing to the economy that where a lot of Western countries have gone sideways, the United States included, is it's focused on the periphery. Uh, that's part of the DEI thing. And it ceased to invest in the excellence and the growth and the competence of the core of its society, irrespective of obviously gender, skin color, like nobody cares. We just want uh, the people who are uh, true to the ideals of the country and those who want to be competent and be in service, you know, to speak about the virtues that you talked about uh, earlier. But instead of what we've got is we've gone to the fringes, uh, you know, so much so to use the obvious Olympic uh, parallel right now uh, or the swimming par parallel. We, we have men beating up on women who spent, you know, 200 years uh, trying to get equal rights for 50 percent of the population. So we've got these fringes that are really impacting the core because they've been amplified. And that feels like we've come off the rails and government should be investing in the core of the population, not the fringes. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I think like, but why are they focused on the fringes? Right. I think you're right. But like, why are they, but I think it's because they don't want an environment of accountability. They don't want an environment of confidence and of merit. And if you don't have that, you have to focus on something else instead. Right. And it turns out you can't, the organization organizations really can't have multiple gods. It doesn't work that way. And so people pretend, Oh yeah, we're going to have merit, but we're also going to do this. We're also going to do that. And then, and then you end up prioritizing something else just breaks the core. And there's some people who say that Marxists are doing it on purpose where like Marxists want things to be broken in order to kind of like 
you know, have society be transformed radically. So there probably are some of them that are doing it for that purpose. But I think, I think it's also just this, just this thing where like a system can't work if certain people are, are trying to do all these things at once. <laughs>